Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this look using a lot of new products that I got at the Sephora sale. And also I got a couple of items here from Ulta. So before we get started, if you're new here, I would love for you to join my channel. Also hit that notification bell and you'll know when I put out a new video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into me trying these new products. guys we're gonna go ahead and get started I did get this Tula skincare rose glow and get it this is a cooling and brightening eye serum so I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes I've been loving putting this on prior to putting on my concealer because my under eyes you know I have fine lines under there and I have uh, some dryness sometimes kind of helps my concealer stay on without creasing things like that so I really like this and it also brightens my under eyes before we get started with all this the sun is actually coming in and out so it gets bright and then the clouds will cover the sun and it looks like this so once the sun comes out it's gonna be a little bit brighter so yeah but the camera is trying to adjust like with the light and everything else um, all right so let's go ahead and get started I am gonna put on some milk makeup primer I got the little mini size you see what I'm talking about it's really bright I got the little mini size because I had the bigger size and I only had like that much left of it. So I ended up giving it to my daughter in Dallas. So I didn't buy one during the sale, which I wish I would have because I could have gotten 20% off. But I ended up buying this like little travel size. I love this stuff. I recently tried again the Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer. And I have to tell you guys, that stuff does not work well for me. I ended up taking it back. And last time that I tried it, it didn't do much for me either but I figured why not try it again that's why I got the little travel size and it just made me super oily on my t-zone so I'm just going in with this today I want this makeup to last today's Thanksgiving so I'm getting ready for the day next thing I'm going to show you guys is this about face by Halsey this is an eye primer I've already tried it and I do love it so I'm gonna wear it today it's a very nice kind of like creamy eye primer where it makes the lids a little bit more like mattified. So if you have oily lids, this would be like a good primer to try. You can still wear shimmer or, you know, a chrome shadow on top of it, but it just keeps your lids from getting oily and creasy. Yeah, I've really been liking this so far. Okay, so for shadow today, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario. This is his matte palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use this for my crease color. I'm gonna go in with the light color first just to set that primer. And I really don't need to set the primer, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going in with the liquid shadow. So hopefully by me setting the primer, it won't mess up the shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the crease shade. No. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm just going to put that in the crease. Like I said, I'm using a liquid shadow today. I really don't need to do a lot of steps because the cream shadow, I'm just gonna blend it out. It's not a liquid shadow, it comes off creamy. So I keep saying either cream or liquid shadow, but guys, it is like in a tube. So I have to take it out and put it on my eyes. I like putting like a little crease color down because um, when you do a cream shadow, there are some cream shadows that when you put them on, it looks kind of like when it dries, it kind of stops like with a clean line. And I don't want that. I want it to look more blended. So that's why I put like a transition shade there because I do want it to look very blended that Sun is bright so today I'm gonna use a liquid or cream shadow by Halsey this one's in the shade cloned and it's a very beautiful burgundy and brown it has a wand to it this is a matte shadow so basically what I'm gonna do is put a little bit on my hand I'm gonna work with it that way as you can see it has that creamy consistency to it I'm gonna take a brush and just dab a little bit on there and then I'm just gonna go over the lid with it Wow, this is really nice. Do you see how I'm blending it into that crease color? So it'll just blend in very nicely. Wow, that's really, really pretty. And a little goes a long way, guys. You don't need a lot. Just that little bit on my hand did the trick. So that's pretty much it. It's a really quick look, very easy to apply, very minimal steps. So yeah, 
Okay, so now let's do this. I'm gonna use these brushes that I got from Sephora. I'm going to take one of the brushes and I'm going to go into one of these, uh, what are these called? One of these icy and sparkle shades. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. This one's cooler tone and this one's a little bit warmer tone. We're gonna go in with this one. This one is called Dazzle. And I'm gonna take one of these brushes. I'll take this one right here. It's a small flat brush and I'm gonna go into Dazzle. And I'm doing this before I do my foundation because I don't want to mess up my foundation with this sparkle. Today's a great day for sparkle because it is Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna take the tape all the way off. I'm gonna open it halfway and then just take some of this shadow. Press my brush in there and then I'm just gonna press it on top of the eyeshadow. And I'm not putting it all over. I'm just kind of putting it on the center. That's so, so pretty. Okay, let me do the other eye. And with this product as well, a little goes a long way. You don't need much of it. Like I said, I'm just pressing it into the lid right on the center. Now, I will say that this is sparkly, but it's not like super sparkly. To be honest, it kind of reminds me of my hourglass shadows. You know, the ones that come in the little pot. It reminds me of that. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it reminds me of my other shadows you know like I could do the same effect with those other shadows anyway it's still a pretty product if you don't have something like this I would definitely look into it because I think this is gonna be like perfect for the holidays I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on and today I'm gonna use the all hours by YSL been loving this foundation and I'm gonna use this brush here that I got in the brush set from Sephora I think this is a I don't know if they have the numbers on them yeah this is a complexion brush it's a flat brush This foundation lasts all day long and it has really nice coverage. I still use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I only have to use like very little. I like this brush. It fits really nicely in the middle of my forehead between my eyebrows. Sometimes I can't get in there to really blend out the foundation. I always have to go in with a smaller brush, but this does a really nice job. This would be good too for like bronzer as well. So yeah, cause it's very nice and compact. All right, so let me go ahead and put a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape on. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora concealer brush and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. This one's in shade seven. And I have already tried this once. I like it, but I don't know that I love it. So let me go ahead and use this concealer brush and just blend this all out. Okay, it's going on really nicely today. So I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit before I actually put powder on. Then I'm just gonna blend the bottom here because it needs a little bit of blending. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm not gonna set the concealer, but I'm gonna set my face with my La Mer powder. And I'm gonna use this brush from Sephora. This is the powder brush. Super, super soft. It's kind of like flat. Do you see it? It kind of tapers up. This would actually also be a good brush to do your bronzer because it's tapered and you can just kind of get in there underneath the cheekbone. We're gonna go in with this cream bronzer by NARS. It's the Laguna bronzer and this is in Laguna 4. This is the shade. I think the shade's gonna be perfect for me. All right, I'm gonna use this Sephora brush, but this is not one that came in the kit. I bought it at last year's sales. This is the Pro Featherweight Complexion Brush. It's really dark. Wow, I put too much on my brush. Okay, so I don't know guys. It looks like too red. I just don't know that I like the shade. Let me blend it out more. Yeah, it has a little gray in it. I'm gonna do the other side so it can be even today. It makes my skin look a little bit gray. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this. I thought it was gonna be like really warm without any gray, and it looks a little gray right here on the edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my under eyes. Okay, yeah, they haven't creased as much today. 
but it creased very, very little. So we're gonna use the puff. I'm gonna use my puff I get from Amazon, and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush under eye setting powder. I'm gonna go in with this new brush. It is a highlight and contour brush. It's in the kit, and I'm gonna go in with Sable by NARS. This is the light reflecting setting powder, but of course I got it in a darker shade so that I can use it as bronzer. And spoiler alert, I already used this before and I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do blush. I have this palette by NARS that I wanna use. I love the color of blushes in here. They're super vibrant, really beautiful. Let me go in with this peach shade, and I'm using this angled brush that's in the kit. Just press it onto the cheek. When I put my brush in here, it looks like nothing's coming off on the brush, but there's definitely product coming off on the brush because I'm getting like nice pigmentation. And then I like to put a little bit on my nose a little bit okay so that looks really good so now let's go ahead and go in with the eyebrow pencil this is the gimme brow volumizing brow pencil in 4.5 I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows out and then I'm gonna go in with the pencil that it really volumized my brows because I have other pencils that actually do the same thing this one's doing so I don't see the really big difference because honestly I think the pencil the gimme brow pencil the original one does the same thing that this does the only difference is is that this one has a thicker tip and it's more like a pencil like tip than one of those tips that where you turn them up and the pencil comes out all right that'll do for my brows so I'm gonna use this LA Girls shockwave lip pencil and this one is in the shade gingerbread I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced lipstick and send nudes. Then for a little bit of gloss, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Clear Gloss. All right guys, so this is the finished look. You guys saw it in the intro. We're gonna go over these products really quickly. Um, let me start with, of course, the La Mer powder. You guys know I love this powder. I am so glad that I bought this and the foundation because I love both of them. Um, I love them together. I also love the foundation with this foundation. And now, I don't know if I told you guys what shade it was, but it's actually MN6. So that is the shade that I use in the All Hours Foundation. But I love this foundation. It's really beautiful on the skin. Lasts all day. Of course, you guys know I love the Milk Makeup Primer. So let's go ahead and get into the other items. All right, so the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't like how my under eyes look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are looking super, super dry. So I think this is probably a little bit too drying. Um, it's not creasing. I'm doing this because I want to see if it creases. It's not creasing as much, but it looks really drying under there. So this is the second time I've used it and I'm just not real happy with it. So for the NARS cheek palette, of course, I love this palette. The only one I used today was a peach one, but I plan on using this a lot more, especially that pink shade right there. That shade is something I know I'm going to love. That's it right there. I love this. I love the formulation. Like I said, it doesn't look like much is coming off on the brush, but it does. It's very pigmented, but not too pigmented where you can't work with it. So love that. So for the Sephora brush set, I love all of these brushes. They're very, very soft. The concealer brush worked really well for the concealer. It blended it out really nicely. I love the way that they make these brushes. They feel like they're luxury brushes. So yeah, I really do love these. And then for the Halsey products, I love this. I already told you guys, I tried it. It's really nice for the eyelids. It is a more like a matte type of eye primer where it sets down really nice and matte, but it doesn't affect the shadows you put on it. And then for this, this is so good, guys. I love the shade of this. I think it blended really well. It didn't dry too fast where I couldn't blend it. So I do love this product. I'm gonna look at getting maybe more of these. These I would compare probably to the House Labs ones, but they're more liquidy, you know, not super liquidy, but they have more of a liquid feel to them as opposed to the House Labs, which they're more creamy, but 
they go on just like the house lab ones do so yeah I like this and then for the uh, Gwen Stefani products I do like these products guys but I'm looking at it and it's not really something that really stands out I mean you could get this effect with like the hourglass shadows you can also get this effect with just a you know loose powder type shadow so there's not really anything super special I was looking to see if I had it like an added glimmer to it and I don't yeah I'm not too excited about these but if you don't have something like this I would definitely try these out because they do look really pretty for the NARS Laguna bronzer not for me it's very hard for me to like a cream bronzer because I don't like that gray shadow look I like more of a warm type bronze look so the shade is not for me I tried the other two when they first came out those weren't for me so unfortunately this is gonna go back but for this one the sable powder oh my gosh I love this for bronzer it is so beautiful and it's the perfect shade for my skin tone the last product is this gimme brow volumizing pencil this is nothing to write home about it does the same thing as their regular pencil does I don't really see like any true volume to my brows so yeah I'm just gonna have to pass on this because it just doesn't do anything for me that my other eyebrow pencils can do so that's it for me trying all this new makeup I hope you enjoyed this first impressions don't forget to subscribe take care and we'll see you guys on the next one